Hey guys, Fabian Vic here and welcome to a vlog, a brand new vlog in brand new surroundings. Exactly the same place, obviously I've just changed the poster, <laughs> that's all I've done really. I've just I've just changed that big transformer and the um the guys. Um Batman and Joker, a problem with those were they wouldn't seem to stay level. Probably my fault. But also this camera um, it recognised those two faces as faces, um, human, real people's faces. So it kept wanting to focus them and me for a little team shot, me, Batman and Joker. And, you know, so it wasn't quite working out. And I just thought this is a bit more vapey. You know, it's all I do in here, what I, 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 you know, my work and uh, vape stuff. So I thought let's make it a bit, vape, a bit more vapey like, you know. Um, so that's what happened there. What am I vaping on today? I'm vaping on the iSub Apex on the RX200. Nice little matchy matchy black setup. Bit like that. Uh, inside I have got Coil Nut Flakes um, from Token Vape. And it's uh, it's quite nice. It's very, very nice in the morning because it's... Um, it's like Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Corn Flakes, uh, if you're familiar with them. Uh, it's uh, yeah, so it's a nice sort of breakfasty vape. We'll have a little juice section later. Um, they're not in it, but um, if you check out my podcast that I do with Cloudy, the Let's Vape podcast, um, there's a discount code for Let's Vape. I think it's um, Let's Vape fifteen. So if you go on tokenvape.co.uk and you use the discount code Let's Vape fifteen, you get fifteen percent off. I think that's right. I'll put it in the description anyway. Um, but that's through the podcast. So when you're putting in that discount code, pretend you're a podcast listener <laughs> in your brain. Um, yeah. Uh, so that is that. Today's topic. Um, the previous topic that we're going to cover in the comments in a minute was um, the future of vaping. What's it going to look like with all the regulations and stuff? How's it going to actually be like? Um, so that's what we're going to cover in a second. The comments section for this vlog today is, what is your favourite RDA? Now, boring, boring, boring. That's a boring vlog. That's a blog. Blo blo that's a blo boring vlog topic. It's quite hard to say that. Boring blog topic. Um, but... I did the same topic about seven, eight months ago, and what I want to do in the next vlog is compare the two RDAs that were getting shouted out. I want to see if people still love the same RDAs that they've always loved, or whether they're just on the hype train, on the newest thing, or whether there is now an established best two or three RDAs in the world, which I just think would be cool. I mean... There's a certain amount of subjectivity in it, of course, and the way you vape. You know, a uh, flavour chaser might say a Snapdragon, but a cloud chaser would never say a Snapdragon. They're more likely to say a Mutation X, you know, or something like that. Uh, so it'd just be interesting. And, and it, it might show if more people are cloud chasing now than they used to be, or whether more people have calmed down. Or let, well, Let's see. Let's see. I think it'd be interesting. Uh, but let's do some comments. Um, James Mucklin says, I have a beautiful wife indeed, and that's a compliment. It does sound like a compliment. Um, uh, Michael Wilkinson says, ha 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 ha, you think you've put on a few pounds? I'm going shopping for a sports bra tomorrow. Uh, and it, Michael's clearly a dude, so that's where the humour is derived. Um... There's a couple of vape shops in my area worth a gander. They're called Vapinator and... Oh, they're both called Vapinator. One in Womwell one, one and one in Goldthorpe. They're both in the Barnsley area in Yorkshire. Uh, top vlog, mucker, and all the best for the new year. Thank you very much, Michael. Uh, that can be the vape shop of this vlog. The vape shop shout-out of this vlog is... Vapinator, Vapinator in Barnsley. Um, go and check them out. Sounds like they're good. Sounds like they're good. I might check them out. That's not too far for me to go. Um, Brad Malins says, In the future, people will be mixing their own liquid. I mix my own. It's fun and cheap. However, when you are trying to get good flavour profiles that you, th that you think of, 
my old day vape in brackets cosmic fog midland honey etc uh, but don't succeed it can be frustrating just learning the flavor concentrates is a skill there is some great recipes on eliquidrecipes.com uh, so everybody go check that out i think i think it's true i think this the if it's over regulated this industry it will be pushed into an incredibly niche hobby and as it becomes more and more niche, more and more expert, the people doing it are the only ones left and they're the most advanced and expert, I think there is the danger that most people just mix their own, you know, because they'll learn how to mix it. It isn't rocket science. Um, it isn't rocket science. Come on. I mean, it's brilliant and that some people are absolute chefs, absolute chefs, absolute wizards at making juice, amazing juice. But it's like cooking, isn't it? You don't have to eat uh, a Marco Pierre White, a Gordon Ramsay meal every meal, you know? You can cook something yourself. It'll be okay. Do you know what I mean? It's like that. So I think there's a danger of that. I think that's true. I think that's very true. Um, Brian Vaff says, and it's and I'm Tits McGee, <laughs> which is like the weird Anchorman references that are in the blog. Um, Happy New Year, Vic. So, question. What does the 1.8 firmware update for... Uh, the RX200. I don't know if it's the 1.8, but there's a brand new update for the RX200 that has all the temp coefficiency stuff. Now, whew, that is flying over my head. I haven't got a blooming Scooby-Doo what any of that means yet. I might look into it, though. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's epic. It's epic that the RX200 is a budget mod. Come on, the price. It's under £50, and it's it's just pushing itself forward like all these firmware updates and stuff that's it's just epic that's just an epic mod for the money I think it's fantastic and the fact that they keep improving it constantly it's already brilliant they keep improving it I think it's mod of the year 2015 it came out in 2015 didn't it mod of the year 2015 um, Don Burton says it's just upside down I find a way to quit smoking that I really enjoy and satisfies, but the government is courting the tobacco companies and love those taxes. Yet here in America, they are legalizing marijuana for recreational use in various states. Instead of focusing on destroying something that is doing a good thing for people, the states need to focus on restoring our roads, bridges and traffic issues. There are much bigger issues in the world than me taking a little toot on some cornflakes. I completely agree. I mean, there's people dying in places, isn't there? I've, I've heard that there are people dying in places. Surely that's a bigger deal. It just doesn't work on any level. The whole regulation thing just doesn't work on any level. Imagine if e-cigs were as bad as smoking. Could you legitimately ban them even then? You, I don't think you could. I, genu I don't think you could because, I mean, it's, well, smoke well, smoking's legal. Okay, we'll have to really be legal then. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And it's healthier and it's helping people. And I don't know, maybe if they just, and I, it's not a popular thing to say, but maybe if they just taxed it, maybe if they just taxed it. They'd be happy again. I don't know. I don't know. It's very complicated, isn't it? Um, Tony Beard says, Great vid. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. That I haven't already said that to. Um, let's have a look. Paddy Dog says, Great vlog, Vic, and thanks for sharing your family life and studio. I won giveaway 25, so thanks for all the prizes and extra tank looking forward to them so much as for the tpd it's too soon to predict how tough or not it will be i guess we'll just have to wait and see i think 2017 will be when the full effects uh, will be felt uh, but with all things le illegal there will always be ways to do it and that's sort of what i was saying as well there are a lot of illegal things that still go on you know what i mean So, yeah, I agree. Um, Edward, uh, oh God, I'm going to murder this surname. Edward Becerra, 
Becerra? Edward Becerra, sorry. Um, so sorry you folks are going through all the regulation on vaping. I hope all the vapors here in the US take a stand and fight tooth and nail to preserve our rights to vape. On a lighter side, I've been listening to your podcast, Let's Vape. I really enjoy it, although I must admit, Joe Cloudy is an odd little fellow. Cheers, mate. He is an odd little fellow, isn't he? I don't know if the pod would work if he wasn't an odd little fellow. Yeah, he's actually not that little. Is he like 250 pounds and 6 foot 2? But he's an odd little fellow. Factual statement. Um, Did Joe reply to that? I actually think Joe... (laughs) <laughs> Joe, Joe just put oh hi underneath that comment. I love that. Oh, picking my nails on camera. That's, that's always a good look. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, Cruzilla, Curezilla. Don't know. Says great, vi- great vid Vic. I guess I will be an outlaw if it gets too restrictive. Guess I will stop stock up on Nick and get into DIY. Uh, I think a lot of people are stocking up on Nick. I don't know how it works. So I think you're supposed to. I think on its own, not stored well. Is it a year it lasts? And then if you freeze it, it can last a lot longer. Can't be asked. Can't be asked with that at all. Um, Crimis- M. Crimpy says, Hi Vic, many thanks for the giveaway. I got the tanks in the post this morning. I certainly wasn't expecting to win. It made my day. Great channel once again and thanks all the best. Matt, another winner. Everybody's a winner. Everybody's a winner on this channel. Uh, just stick around long enough because it's not a big... I mean, it, there is quite a lot of entries to the giveaway but not compared to the bigger channels you know so statistically if you enter you know 10 times your chances are the same each time but you but you're giving yourself that chance you know and i think um you know give it another six months everyone will have won you know (laughs) and i can probably keep some of my own vape stuff um don burton Inakin needs to promote their RBA kit for the iSub line. I found one offering for this product at MVS. I emailed the link to you. Looks like an option, but the build looks like it will be tough. Great program, and thanks. thank you for offering great giveaways. Um, look, I got one. Inakin sent me one. iSub RBA base. I haven't touched it. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I'm going to though, and I'm going to put. A, I'm going to make a video of me building that, and I'm going to let you know. It looks famous last words. It looks an absolute piece of cake. The proof will be in the wicking, but to actually build on it looks a piece of cake. So I'm looking forward to doing that video. Um, Vape Passion says, Today I learned that Crimbo is British slang for Christmas. It sort of is and it sort of isn't. Uh, It's popularised by a comedian in the UK. Um, Keith Lemon. And, um, yeah, if you do a search, and I'd said this to Vape Passion, if you do a search for proper Crimbo, um, then his music video that he brought out for Christmas will come up. And um, quite an eye-opener. Check it out, especially if you're American, might might uh, give you something to think about um okay last one gabrielle alive nice vlog love the behind the scenes look at your vape office that was for dino not for you you shouldn't have been looking that was just for dino the vaping biker um looking forward to more vids as usual cool yeah i i think it went all right the panning the camera around if you've missed the last vlog go go have a look i'll show you how it's all laid out in here um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna make it more organised. It's still a absolute tip, but, uh, but yeah. So that'll do for comments, I think. Oh yeah, that'll do for comments. We're 14 minutes in. <laughs> oh dear. My apologies. Uh, let's have a look at what's coming up for review. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. People know me. I'm very important. Uh, I have many leather-bound books, and my apartment smells of rich mahogany. I wonder if I'll be able to do an O before vaping's banned. Um, Anyway, 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 
what's coming up? Okay, so not too much to show you. I don't know if this vlog is coming out the video before this or not. So if you've already seen this, apologize. Um, this is the Endless RDA, a 24mm RDA made by UK people, British people, allegedly. Um, it's um, in conjunction with Shady Vapor. They they're spearheading this endless brand thing, um, and it's available at Yorkshire Vapor as well, and that's where I got it from, uh, the YorkshireVapor.co.uk. Um, it come it's part of a a big full kit, a 24 mm mod with loads of changeable sleeves, loads of hybrid top cap switch options, uh, and this is the RDA that matches that mod. But you can just buy the RDA separate, as I have. Um, uh, does this look good? I don't know. Does this look good? It was going to go on the RX200, but it doesn't screw all the way down. It leaves a gap. I don't like it. Um, so, I don't. does this look okay on here? Let me know. And if not, what would a 24mm brass RDA look good on? What would it look good on? Name some mods and I'll have a think. Um, so, I don't know if that's already happened or not. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. Um, I've got something coming from a company called Vape Only. Um, I don't know what. They didn't say what. Um, but they said, do you want to do some it? Checked out their site. It looked legit. So I said, okay. Um, so I've got something coming from them. Uh, the Yorkshire Vapor are getting cotton. In fact, when this video goes up, Yorkshire, Va Yorkshire Vapor will be the exclusive UK distributor of cotton candy. It's a new fancy one of these cotton wiki jobs. Um, you know, like Cotton Bacon and Ninja Wicks and all that. Um, so, I'm going to get some of that, see what that's all about, uh, from the Yorkshire Vapor. The Yorkshire Vapor. Um, <laughs> uh, I've got some more fancy, fancy juice from uh, vividvapes.co.uk, Vivid Vapes. And I've got um, another thing coming from a company called Mod Vapor. M-O-D-V-A-P-A -A. and I don't know what that is as well but again I had a look on the site everything looks legit and by that I just mean proper vape stuff um, and so they're gonna send me some it I think I think you never know do you if they, it's gonna come or not but we'll see hopefully that's what's coming loads of other stuff planned as well I'm gonna buy some things I'm gonna buy some things I'm gonna reshuffle my pack of mods and stuff and see what I need um, shout out as well while we're while we're here because I have been vape shopping um, a friend of mine runs a website shop um, in the UK uh, galeforcevapes.co.uk they're the people that did this uh, they're the people that did the dris they, they do this dripper cloud line I've smashed that um, TNT the TNT one that's gone that's empty Oh, it's here. That's, I've left a bit for Big Tom to try. I'm going to take it in for him. Um, so, But shout out to them, galeforcevapes.co.uk. Uh, they've got loads of awesome, cool stuff at really good prices, so go and check them out. Um, what else? What else um, do I need to tell you? Um... No, that's it. Uh, while I mentioned, since I mentioned Big Tom, uh, the latest podcast um, has a special guest, and you guessed it, it is Big Tom from YouTube. Uh, Big Tom from the Vaping Crew, formerly from Safer Vapors, all that stuff. Um, he is the guest on the podcast that just went up, number, I don't know what number it is. Um, but, um, so go and check that out. The audio quality isn't as good as normal episodes because there's that extra man in there and we didn't have time to sort of sound check it sound test it so um, i apologize about the audio it's not quite as good as normal um but um i think it's an enjoyable podcast i had a real laugh and tom was brilliant on it so please go check that out if you're not a podcast listener it's never too late to start um previously reviewed items previously reviewed items Okay, where do we start? Previously reviewed items. Okay, the Cortex. Just put up a video for the Cortex, the Inican Cortex with the I sub S. Now, I covered the I sub S in a separate video about all the tanks. Um, ah, this is going to be messy. I don't like the juice that's in here. Um, I stand by what I say in that 
I stand by what I say in that video. Basically, I say that this is the best temperature control mod I've used. Mm. I told you I didn't like the juice in it. I've just not used another mod that can just pump out the clouds consistently without nerfing your vape as well as this does. Um, this is a stock titanium head for, for the ISOB S and it just cloud, 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 cloud and it never stops you and it never gives you a dry hit and if you did the dry burn test on it, it would pass with flying colours. Um, I don't put my dry burn tests on camera because I think it's boring. Um, I just tell you and it's up to you whether you believe me. <laughs> um, but this is what I use for the dry burn tests. It's just a nickel, a single coil nickel build on there. Uh, on an old RDA. But that is just, you know, it's it's a funny looking thing and the screen's at the bottom and it's got things going on with it. The actual chip inside is the work of a wizard. Um, what else? The Storm. Now, here's the thing. Something I should have said when I did the Storm kit review, Cool 54 thing. This whistles. I've got it in a position now where it doesn't, so I'm not going to move it. <laughs> but it's a bit whistly, isn't it? You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, so the Storm Edition, and I said in it, I thought it, the colours were a bit the wrong way around. I actually think this looks better on here like this. So I've got this on here now, um, even though it whistles. And, and I've got the uh, crown on the Storm now. I think that looks better, don't you? Because the black bit is all matchy, not clashing, not opposites. Um, I think it looks great like that now. And a standby, that Cool Fire 4 Plus, I love mods like that. Simple, good battery life, DC output, you know, what do you want? Um, the only reason I'm not vaping this right through this vlog is because that whistle, I think, would annoy everyone. Um, so I'm vaping this instead. Um, that's that, that, that's that, that's that. The SIG OT 100W TC and the Blade mod that I put out, both of those videos, they're flawed products, you know, they've got flaws, and I felt like ultimately the decision is yours, and I just wanted to give you all the negatives and all the positives, and just leave you to decide. You know, I think that's your, I think it ultimately it is, you know, so I didn't give them a sort of overall judgment. I just gave you a full list of everything I found wrong and everything I found good. Um, and that's the same for the blade and the, uh, the blade mod as well, you know, the cage mod that I reviewed. You know, so those were semi-negative reviews, semi-positive reviews, and, and you can have a think if, uh, if those things appeal to you or not, or whether the negatives outweigh the positives or, or, or etc. Um, one thing I did speak highly of was the Fu Chai and again that was because of the way I vape. I'm using this at 70 watts in canthal mode, power mode, wattage mode, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm dripping at, at it at 70 watts and for that purpose it's brilliant. The temperature mode, there's better temperature mods out there. Um, super high power 150 plus watts, 130 plus watts, there are better mods out there, aren't there? There are, there are. And so that's that's how I feel about that, for how I vape, it's nectar. But um, for how some people vape, it's not. And so that's how, I, that's how I feel, that's how I felt about that, so that's that. And that's all the previously reviewed stuff. We're way over, way over time on this vlog, I'm so sorry, I don't really even know why. Me vaping and drinking coffee is not helping either, is it? Okay, so I uh, don't remember the names of all the winners, but everyone that has won a giveaway, all the giveaways from this moment, this sheer moment in time, uh, all the giveaways are now closed and the winners have received their items. So if you haven't received anything, you haven't won any of the previous giveaways, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Um, that's the trouble with the giveaways. You know, it's only one happy person at the end of it. Um, so let's do another giveaway. Um, what number vlog is this? My fucking lord. 
Oh man, sorry. I don't even know what number. I usually say at the beginning, don't I? I didn't say. Catchphrase is gone. Uh, so this is vlog 27. So this is giveaway 27. Um, okay. Okay, so this is what you can win in today's giveaway. You can win a big bottle of Captain Obvious, the Beach Bum, the Beach Bum One by Captain Obvious, 30ml of that, 30ml of lemon uh, MF in donuts um, from Vivid Vapes and from Vaptasia um, you can win Rainbow Road, 30ml of that as well as the cl Cloud Paw, no, what am I on about? iCloud Sig Fishbone Plus RDA um, that's the one I, I bought and I've been using so it's used and bleh. It's not great. I'll clean it up as best I can. Um, and finally, the blade kit. Um, it looked a bit like that. If you remember, I did a review for it. Uh, and I've chucked in the 18490 battery that um, that you need to operate this mod. Um, just in case you haven't got one, I've put one in there for you as well. Um, so that's what you can win in today's vlog. So... Giveaway 27 as the title of your email, the subject of your email. Um, in the email body, I need your name and address. And I need the answer to this question. What battery fits in the blade mod? What size battery fits in the blade mod? To my email address, which is in the description, cd underscore vic at hotmail.com. Um, title, giveaway 27. Name and address in the body of the email with the answer to that question. What is the size of battery that fits in the blade mod? Um, okay, good. I'm glad we've covered all that off. Um, let's just have a quick chat about some juice. It's quite pungent. Oh yeah. It stings the nostrils. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so... Juicy, juicy, juice, juice. I know a lot of people skip over the juice reviews. Fair play. I would as well. Um, but just in case, I just want to give you the the very quick highlights of juice uh, that's been going on in, in my world. Uh, just so you know, some great juice. Um, I got in from Vivid Vapes, uh, MF in Donut, uh, three FM, MF in Donut juices. Um, glazed, original, which is like chocolate, and lemon. One of them's in the giveaway, the lemon one. Lemon's not really my speed. Um, but look at this one, glazed. The glazed one is absolutely gorgeous. I am smashing this. I am absolutely smashing this. I've not even had it long. And it is going down, 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 down. On a similar note, um, still absolutely loving. I think I've probably mentioned this too many times already. Um, Custard Donut from the Yorkshire Vapor is one of my all-day vapes now. Absolutely every day I will be vaping a couple of mil of that, guaranteed. Um, and the proof is this. It's a 100 mil bottle, and that's what I've got left. You know, so smashing Yorkshire Vapor. Custard Donut, it is absolutely gorgeous. And finally, uh, from I got uh, the full line from Vaptasia sent to me as well, and I did a video for that. And Royalty 2... Royalty 2 from Vaptasia is absolutely delicious, as is Killer Custard. That is gone, that is empty, that has been discarded. Uh, Killer Custard and Royalty 2 from Vaptasia are out of this world awesome juices that I highly recommend and I really like. Um, very lastly as well, I've been really enjoying uh, Drippy Drops. No, Trippy Drops. Um, there's a poster there. Uh, trippy drops. Uh, this one is maca maca de mora, maca de more. It's like appley caramelly type thing, uh, and I've been really enjoying that as well. So maybe check that out. Um, they do it in one point five mg as well. If you're one of those people, um, so bear that in mind as well. Right. Um, this vlog is now either going to end epically badly or epically well. Um, I've got a new phone. 
um, I got a new phone. It's I don't know what it is. It's a Sony Z5, I believe, um, and it's a pretty good phone. I really like it, and I, I'm hoping with it I'm going to be able to uh, uh, with it. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to up my Instagram game. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's just Vaping Vic or one word. Um, so go and check that out. There's probably a link in the description to my Instagram as well. Um, but I just do blurry hand checks of things I've got in to review and it's rubbish you know or I might do a picture of a pint of beer or something like that uh, but I'm wanting to up my Instagram game I'm hoping this camera is going to help me do that um, camera on the phone um, but also it has this feature where it encapsulates your week in a mini montage video uh, all the pictures you've taken or videos you've taken that week um, so what I'm going to insert now um, is one of those videos uh, so check it out Okay, so that was that was the sort of last few days that I've had uh, with the family and stuff in real life. Some hand checks from my Instagram feed and all that sort of stuff. I don't know how it does it, the video thing, and I don't know what the quality is like, and I don't know how that's going to look. But I thought if it works well, it's a really nice way of dropping in to the vlog my real life stuff because I, I said I would do that. Um, so that is that. That is all we've got time for. We haven't got time for news or anything. Um, I do this bit where I talk about new products about to be released, just to give you a heads up. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Two um, products that have caught my eye about to be released, or literally just been released. The Goblin Mini V2. The Goblin Mini was an massively popular RTA. There's a V2 version of that now about to be released or just been released. It has top fill. It has a new airflow system in it. And it has a much bigger and easier to use build deck. That was one of the negatives. The negatives of the V1 were that um, it, it was uh, annoying to refill. And it was a little bit fiddly to build on because it was a bit cramped in there. Um, so they fixed that for the V2. So that should be epic. I haven't seen one in real life yet. But that should be pretty epic. So maybe check that out. Uh, another product, if you're an IPV fan, a uh, fan of the IPV4S or the V2 Minis or any of the IPV series, there's an IPV5 now. And it's a 200 watt mod. Uh, interestingly enough, it's a Yeehee. SX330 <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry I'm a bit under the weather um, it's an SX330 um, dash 200 chip and it's going to be firmware upgradable and it works with stainless steel in temperature mode so check that out um, if you're an IPV fan um, or you just want a new mod that works with stainless steel and temp control may be worth checking out. It's a dual 18650 mod so it'll have the same problems as a Fu Chai in terms of high power but uh, the temperature control with it being Yihi it should be on point. So that's an interesting mod. I think it's IPV's first mod that's firmware upgradable so that's quite exciting as well. I'm not 100% sure on that but hopefully they actually follow through with it and make it a solidly constantly improving like the RX200. We'll see though. Um, so they're interesting products to maybe take a peek at, check out. Um, I'm going to wrap it up there. 
Hopefully the real life montage thing worked. I don't know at this point because <laughs> it's going to get chopped in. I've no idea if it worked. Hopefully it did. Hopefully it looked good and then I can use them going forwards. Um, but we'll see. We'll see about all that stuff. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We've got loads coming up. Loads coming up for review as always. Um, every other day I try and get a video out for you guys. Um, put in the comments your favourite RDA. And why, if you've got time, that'd be epic. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Um, absolutely love making these vlogs. Genuinely love making them. Uh, so stay tuned if you can. Uh, I've been Vaping Vic. Cheers.